All right, today we're going to talk about the hosts file. The hosts file exists in pretty much all the major operating systems, Windows, Linux, uh, Mac OS, etc. And what the host file does is it resolves names to IP addresses. Now, if you're familiar with DNS servers, you'll be familiar with this concept. A DNS server also resolves names to IP addresses. But what if you want one of those mappings to exist just on one computer? So let me give you an example. I have a Plex Media server on my network at IP address 192.168.1.94. You see, I can ping that device. Um, if I wanted, I could SSH into that device like so. There we are. So I'm in my Plex server now. Um, but you notice when I did my SSH command, I had to do my username at 192.168.1.94. What if I wanted to do username at Plex server like this, but I don't have the ability to edit the DNS server that my computer is talking to, or I just want that DNS resolution to happen on this specific device. I can use the hosts file for that. So let me show you how to do that. In Windows, the host file is at C drive, Windows, System32, Drivers, ETC, and the file is called hosts. Now, if I just right click on this and open it in Notepad, I'm going to have one minor issue in that I'm not opening Notepad with administrative privileges which means that Notepad's not gonna have permission to save back into this system folder. To get around that, what I'm going to do is I am gonna run Notepad as administrator. And then from here, I can go File, Open, and I can navigate back to that location, the C drive, Windows, System32, Drivers, ETC. Okay, and because we have txt files selected here, we're not seeing anything. If I go all files now, I can see it. I'm gonna grab that hosts file, open it up. And here, I'm gonna go ahead and add in 192.168.1.94. That is my Plex server. If I want, I could add a comment here saying this is my Plex media server. Obviously, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory given the name I, I provided for it, but just know that this this uh, hashtag symbol here is a uh, comment. So anything after that symbol is a comment. That's why all of these lines here are commented out, right? They all start with that, that uh, hashtag symbol. That means those lines are commented out. The only active line is this one that says 192.168.1.94 resolves or sorry, that Plex server resolves to 192.168.1.94, okay? Because I opened a notebook with administrative privileges, I should just be able to go save, and it won't give me any errors. If Notepad was not open as administrator, it would give you an error there and say you don't have permission to write to that folder. Um, there's multiple ways around it. You could save the file to your desktop or something and then copy it in. Um, you'd get the, uh, the UAC prompt. Anyways, now that I've gone and added that line to my hosts file, what I should be able to do is um, I should be able to ping Plex server. And I can, it resolves as you can see to 192.168.194. I should be able to SSH to chat at Plex server. It's gonna obviously ask me um, to accept the fingerprint and my password. And you can see that now I'm logged in using the name instead of the IP address. So that's what a hosts file does. Again, you could you can use any name, any IP address, um, but the hosts file only applies to the computer that it's actually on, which is different from a DNS server, which applies to any computers that are set to use that as their DNS provider. Hope that helps. See you in the next one.